ask uh, Anna to come back to the stage <laughs> at this point because it was a back and forth. And yeah. uh, we were talking about memories. We were talking about feelings. We were talking about experiences. So here we are testing memories, a food literacy tool. So uh, the stage is yours. So tell us uh, about- Thank you, Sonia. Uh, it was my my project as we spoke before i, I did uh, the master um, in food design and my project was a food literacy tool that developed to be um, a deck of cards uh, I, I would like to to make a little experiment with you i have here two 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 guinea pigs two volunteers can you open your 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 videos please okay hi Okay, so um, I'm going to, to use the, the, my, my, my project, my, my, my literacy tool with them and I'll send them to a, a breakout room so they will create something while we're discussing the project. And at the end, we'll see how they did with the, using the, the design, the, sorry, the food literacy tool that I developed. I'm going just to share if screen. If you so need, I... uh, let me just say this, Annaline, if you mm -hmm. actually need the, to listen and to show them okay perfect we need to get them uh, involved in the in the conversation wonderful that's great because i saw in the video that they are visible as well so it works yeah. wonderful okay okay <laughs> so i'll just share the screen if you don't mind so i can give them the the, um, the challenge so they will try and develop so let me just share with sound they just put it big. So, as I said, it's a food literacy tool. I'll explain it after I will send them for a, a breakout room. I'll just give them the challenge and give them time to develop the challenge and then uh, I'll explain the, the project if you don't mind. So, for them, I developed some cards and these are empathy cards that I, I took at random and they haven't seen it. And the things that uh, the empathy cards are asking them to develop is the, the project that they will ha have to do for us. And this is a tool to help them not to kind of deviate in the ideas and have them focus on something specific because it's something specific the, the, the industry will ask them when they, they end their culinary art course or when they have to present a product. So uh, it is and Anna, you have to do, are you writing this down please? You'll have to, the type of product that you have to develop, it has to be a mobile. Uh, so you have a food truck, a festival, something that is mobile. You have to define the space where you want to, your product to exist. The moment it can be dinner, so nighttime. Uh, the type of diet, it's uh, uh, mandatory to be the religion of Buddhism. So think about what the Buddhists eat and try to develop something, obviously vegetarian. On here on the sustainability pack, you'll have to think about for the package something that is um, less packaged, biodegradable or edible. And you have to think about the sustainability process in terms of route to leave, nose to tail, uh, uh, think about uh, what you're going to do with the waste, etc. You'll have to apply stir fry, fry as a basic process. And then uh, for the target, you have to define the age of your client, the activity. So they're low, medium, high. If you have to do it more uh, strong in terms of proteins and hydrates, uh, the value that they want to spend, and the area where you're doing this uh, this project. Right? Do you write it down? So Sonia, can you send them to a, um, a breakout room if you can? Yes, we are doing that. We're managing this so, with Ricardo as well. Thank you. So while they're brainstorming and they're developing uh, the idea, um, this uh, this my, my project started to be um, about tasting memories, about uh, students learning about taste, developing memories and being connected with the ingredients. And this developed to another um, group of concerns about sustainability, about seasonality, about their really knowing the ingredients and became um, uh, a literacy tool that is um, uh, a deck of cards. 
that went to from a just an ingredient set, which has all these uh, different areas that they have to develop and pay attention to, to something that has also uh, cards with skills that they have to learn with a QR code that links to more information, to the empathy deck of cards that we've seen uh, now that was dealt to them with some ideas of challenges and designing thinking ideas for them to be more creative, to be more challenged because uh, if they only learn the syllabus, the classic syllabus of cooking uh, through the, 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 the master apprentice technique, they won't develop the ability to create new things. They, only, they, are, uh, they are only formatted to do things that are already done. And I think it's very important for these students to have a kind of a, a liberty of thinking and the ability of being creative in an area that normally they're not taught to be so this uh, this this deck of cards is uh, to give them that uh, that chance oh sorry it was too fast so the ingredients the qr code goes to this um, information about the ingredients and the techniques they are generation z they need to be very um, fast to the information. And although they are able to get information in the net, it's very difficult for them to choose between the important ones and the not important ones. They, are, they have this difficulty to define which is the ones that are really real because they're allowed to get to so much information. So this kind of funnels a bit of the information that they really need to know about this, um, this type of products and the techniques that, that the, they have to use. Uh, they, in this project, they also have um, a student's notebook, which is very important for them to write down all the, the safari service that they do, the service, the, the challenge that we do with them for ideation and the design thinking challenges. They also write down exercises with ingredients. We do something that uh, I call an uh, exhaustion ex exercise. So they got one ingredient and they apply all the cooking techniques to that ingredient and they write down everything about that. So they can learn about that ingredient. So if they're doing a broccoli, they'll know how to do what to do with the stem of the broccoli, the leaves of the broccoli, the flor florets. And when I ask them to use the technique of root to leaf, they really know what to do with ingredients. They're not just using the prime spots that everybody are used to use from the ingredients. So this is very good for them to uh, be able to be more sustainable in the, the choices that they do. And I just put here just one minute, uh, a one minute video uh, with the tests that I did with them uh, in the final of the first year, just also to give some time for the girls to give us some proposal. So this is it. I don't know how much time I gave them actually. I hope it wasn't too fast <laughs> for their proposal. Sonia, can you ask them out to see if they got anything? Let's see uh, in a way you or, gave uh, them one or two minutes. I mean, they are just like there for one or two minutes. Uh, do you think it would be enough for them? To come the back? video was one minute. Normally we do this like uh, two and a half, three minutes just speed run of ideas i think they're back 
Anna is back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> so did you? No, I was or... alone at my room. Oh, yeah. you were alone? Yes. You're not in the same room to... <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, let's go by parts. Anna, do you have a proposal for the, the kind of uh, food that you would like to serve in this uh, food truck? I think about like ramen with egg, mushrooms, something like that. Iris, do you agree with the ramen with eggs and mushrooms in this situation that I gave you? I mean, yeah, it seems like it works. Maybe it substitutes the eggs for like tofu or something, but yeah. Because they're Buddhists, all right? That's okay. So you have, uh, sorry, they would should have done this uh, in together, this, uh, this test, but we'll do it right now. Oh, it's now. fine. We still exchange messages. We kind of coordinated. Yeah? yeah. Oh, that's fine. So... Um, how about the, the packaging? Uh, Do you want just to, to go, go along with your idea and share what you thought? No, Ish can talk about that. <laughs> All right. Um, for packaging, I don't actually know the name of it in English. I'm very sorry. But it's this kind of wheat packaging made well from wheat, compacted wheat that can be made into cups or into plates and it can resist heat and moisture so it would work for a ramen and it would be of course better for the environment okay. but will, if, that's what we thought about for the packaging it could also be some biodegradable cups right well, yeah but this, this one is sustainable for about the um, the the route to leave the 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 sustainability of the product how would you do your ramen how what how do you would you manage the ingredients do you want to go no no you can go <laughs> so shy. um well of course you would be because of buddhism it would be a vegetable broth so we could use parts of the vegetables for an actual stir fry to incorporate the stir fry into the ramen and the rest of the vegetable that couldn't or we wouldn't normally use for the stir fry to make the broth for the ramen that and, sounds and about this, right this would be all done in the in a food truck do you think you could manage to produce this in a food truck maybe like have an actual kitchen set up somewhere else and then bring like half done, half already made things to the truck where they can finish the process. That okay. sounds like it would be a bit easier to do that way. Now a trick question. If I would say to you both that uh, this would be, it's impossible of course, but all your customers would be celiac. What changes would you do to your product? Because you have a card for celiac, you didn't get that one, you got the Buddhist one, but you know in the deck there's a celiac card. Well, we would have to scrap the whole wheat packaging idea because we can't, <laughs> celiacs can't eat wheat, so just go with biodegradable ones. And you keep the ramen like it was? Oh, oh yeah, we can't use those noodles. Um, rice noodles would work, I suppose. Or potato noodles. Or potato. Okay. So uh, do you find it easier to, to do a, a project with all of these um, guiding lines or would you find it easier for me just to say, do something for um, um, a festival? I it could be easier the other way. Sorry, Anna. I think it's more easier that, uh, this way. We can have like more guide, uh, guidelines so we can like think more and have like more um, things to, to think about, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It gives us some limitations so we can be more precise in the product we're creating. In yes. Theory. Okay, thank you. Anna, that's great. And uh, I mean, I, I have to say that now the time is over, but I was fascinated by listening to you. I couldn't stay longer because you just repropose it in a few minutes. What is the in-depth research that uh, designer, innovators, people that had to create new things has to do, which is exactly also the 
purpose of saying that uh, what we create new, it doesn't come just from an idea. When I woke up in the morning, okay, let's do something different. But instead there is a searching, there is a systemic approach. You gave us also the proof about the fact that when we create something new, we go through emotion, which is very important as well, and memories, but then there is a systemic view that you apply to be sure that you are yeah. able to get in. So wonderful. I mean, uh, uh, this was the process also that uh, as from the educator and professor point of view, we had to apply every time that we teach. So not just yeah. like teaching notion, teaching information, giving tools, but also how to use in a systemic and in transdisciplinary way, all of those uh, instruments. So thank you so much. Is. Just, uh, I just truly believe if we want to do a difference, we have to teach future chefs, future cooks, how to think in this holistic and in this different, uh, different way, or else we'll keep on doing just the same old things that we are still doing now. Right, and, and thank you for keeping the sustainability as one of the key issues that they have to take care of, because sometimes uh, this is not going to be in a way a priority, but it is only one maybe part that some times it is considered. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you also okay. to your, <laughs> your <My tester>. <laughs> or who, who they were here supporting you in this experiment. And uh, in the meanwhile, I'm asking Mariana to come back to the stage with me uh, because before starting the last session, is it the last session, Mariana?